Hello, today I have a recipe that is sure to become a family favorite. Classic margarita pizza with whole wheat crust. That's right, I'm going to show you how to make your own healthier pizza dough that still delivers on taste. Think of all the money you'll save on pizza deliveries, not to mention you'll slash calories and sodium from your typical pizza dinner by making this at home. Okay, I'm going to start with the dough. Now, for nights that are busy, you certainly could use a 12-inch store-bought pre-made whole wheat pizza crust, but I like to double this recipe every time I make it. That way, I always have a few portions of dough in my freezer for whenever we feel like having pizza. It probably goes without saying, but this is a great recipe for the kids to help with, even the dough part. To start, I have one package of dry yeast, which is about two and a quarter teaspoons, and I'm going to pour it into this large bowl. And then add a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and one and a half cups of lukewarm water. Okay. Now I'm just going to give that a stir. And we're just going to let that sit for five minutes to activate the yeast. It's very important that your water is around 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, so not too cold, but not too hot either. If it's too cold, the yeast won't activate, and if it's too hot, it will kill the yeast's rising properties. Okay, so this is what my yeast looks like after five minutes. See how it's foamy? Now I'm going to mix in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. one cup of whole wheat flour. And if you want to use white whole wheat flour, uh, which is another whole grain flour, you can. Next, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, or you could use canola oil or vegetable oil instead. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'll mix this up with a wooden spoon until a dough ball forms. And now it's time to put some muscle into this dough. I've sprayed some cooking spray onto this cutting board to prevent the dough from sticking and we'll start to knead. So you want to pull and then push the dough like so. And you keep doing this for about 10 minutes or until the dough is smooth, elastic, and just slightly tacky. Again, a great job for the kids. And here I have an extra quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And if the dough is too sticky, I'll sprinkle another tablespoon onto the counter so it becomes incorporated into the dough. Now, kneading dough is a necessary step in any type of bread making because it warms and stretches the gluten strands that are in the flour, which in turn will allow the dough to rise. My dough has risen and I've punched it in the middle to release some of the air. This is another fun step for the kids to do. I'll cover it again and let it sit for another five minutes. Then I'll divide it in half and roll one half into a 12 inch circle on my floured surface. I'll freeze the other half of the dough in a freezer bag to use for a future meal. So I have my dough rolled out and it's on its pizza pan coated with cooking spray. I've preheated the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and now it's time for toppings. 
I'm going to mix together a quick pizza sauce here with one 8 ounce can of no salt added tomato sauce. A quarter cup of chopped yellow onion. One minced garlic clove. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh basil. Or you could use two teaspoons of dried basil. One teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. I'll give that a stir. Now, if you don't like things too spicy, use less red pepper flakes or leave them out entirely. Now I'm going to spoon my sauce onto the dough, like this. Then I'm topping it with dollops of a quarter cup of low-fat part-skim ricotta cheese. And then three-quarters cup of shredded low-moisture part-skim mozzarella cheese. Next, I have a cup and a half of diced fresh tomatoes. And two tablespoons of fresh basil that I tore up with my hands. Now that's what you call a classic margarita pizza. Tomatoes, cheese, and basil, the colors of the Italian flag. So I'll bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. It really depends on your oven on how long it takes. Once the crust is golden brown and the cheese is bubbly, it's done. If you are using store-bought pre-made pizza crust, it may take less time to cook. And here's our pizza hot out of the oven. It looks so good. Dare I say, it even tastes better than takeout. I hope you've been inspired to make your own pizza and pizza crust at home. A great recipe for the kids to help out with too. Time to eat.